A warm greeting. Today is Monday, September 16, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be discussing potential cyclone number 8 this season, which is already over South Carolina. Additionally, I will provide an update on the forecast for Tropical Depression Gordon, which is expected to strengthen over the coming days as it moves over the Atlantic waters. At the end of the video, we will talk about the Western Caribbean Sea region, as a Central American gyre is projected to develop over Central America, with the possibility of cyclonic development in the Western Caribbean Sea, or towards the south of El Salvador and Guatemala. So, let's start by talking about potential tropical cyclone number 8 of the season. The circulation center of this system is already over South Carolina, and since it has moved over land, it no longer has the chances of becoming a tropical cyclone. However, it has left some tropical storm force winds and heavy rains, particularly for North Carolina and eastern South Carolina. As you can see in this animation, the rain continues to affect areas of southern North Carolina and northern South Carolina, where a flood warning remains in effect, covering several counties in southern North Carolina and northeastern South Carolina. So, much caution is advised over the next 48 hours, as the rain will continue to move over the region and will also move into northern North Carolina. The circulation center of this system didn't manage to become a tropical cyclone because the circulation center never fully consolidated. As a result, it will not be classified as Tropical Storm Helene. This means that the name Helene will be available for the next system that manages to become a tropical cyclone in the Atlantic Basin. Now let's talk a bit about Tropical Depression Gordon. As you can see in the visible satellite image, this system has been affected by wind shear and dry air over the past few days. In fact, this is the reason why it was downgraded to a tropical depression over the weekend. However, today we've seen it generating some thunderstorms near the center of circulation, so it's likely to start reorganizing, and in the medium to long term, it should re-intensify into a tropical storm as it turns to the north-northeast over open Atlantic waters, away from the Caribbean region. This is exactly what the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center shows. It is projected that by Wednesday night or early Thursday, it will strengthen again into a tropical storm, and then maintain a northeastward path, moving away from land areas. After the passage of potential tropical cyclone number 8 and tropical depression Gordon over open Atlantic waters, the next area we will be monitoring. For the weekend and the beginning of next week will be the Western Caribbean Sea region and the Eastern Pacific area located west of Nicaragua and south of El Salvador and Guatemala. It is projected that a Central American gyre will develop in this zone. And historically, we've seen that these gyres can lead to the development of one or two tropical cyclones, as we saw in June when heavy rains and flooding were reported across Central America. In fact, if we look at the projection of the GFS model, we see the broad field of moisture that will settle over parts of Central America and the Western Caribbean Sea during the upcoming weekend, with some low-pressure systems possibly developing in the Caribbean Sea or the Eastern Pacific region. Additionally, in green, you can see the precipitable water anomalies that will be present across this region over the next week, which will increase the risk of flooding across Cuba, Jamaica, Central America, and parts of southern and southeastern Mexico. Some models project that these low-pressure systems could acquire tropical characteristics. In fact, the GFS ensemble members, in the long term, around 7 to 9 days, show the possible development of a tropical depression or tropical storm in the Western Caribbean Sea, or towards the south of Guatemala and Chiapas. Furthermore, the European model ensemble also shows the potential development of a tropical cyclone in the waters of the Caribbean Sea, or very close to the coast of Cuba, with some members also showing development towards the south of Chiapas. Therefore, it's important for residents of Central America, Jamaica, Cuba, and the state of Florida to stay informed about the global model projections in the coming days, regardless of whether a tropical cyclone develops or not. It is projected that the next seven days will be quite rainy across Central America, Cuba, Jamaica, and southern and southeastern Mexico. For example, in the next seven days, models project between 100 to 200 millimeters of accumulated rainfall in these areas. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue monitoring the tropics, especially the Caribbean Sea region and the area near Central America. I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I will be recording over the next few days. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red button that says subscribe, and then click the bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Well, with that, I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.